we're going to start a new unit called stoichiometry. One of the hardest words to spell in chemistry, but has a very simple meaning. Stoichiometry comes from two Greek words. Stoichion means element, and metri comes from a Greek word meaning measure, or measurer. So all we're doing is measuring elements, and you've done stoichiometry before, just not with elements. You can think of stoichiometry as cookbook chemistry. You could think of the reactants in a chemical reaction as the ingredients to create the products or a delicious snack. So we're going to write a chemical reaction to represent the production of s'mores. We're going to use GR as the element for graham cracker, CH for the element of chocolate square, and M for marshmallow. So here we have our chemical reaction with our reactants, graham cracker, chocolate square, and marshmallow and our product, or s'more. Our ingredients here call for two graham crackers, so we're going to put a coefficient of two in front of our symbol for graham cracker. We need one chocolate square, so we'll put a one right here. Remember in chemical reactions, in front of a reactant or a product where you just need one of them, you don't have to put the one, you just leave it blank. We also need one marshmallow. That forms our one product, one s'more. So that's basically your recipe for a s'more. Let's look at a stoichiometry problem with our s'more scenario. If you have 576 graham crackers and an excess an infinite supply of chocolate squares and an excess of marshmallows. How many s'mores can you make? In this problem, we have an infinite supply of chocolate squares and an infinite supply of marshmallows. So we're limited by a finite amount of graham crackers. You only have 576 graham crackers. In our problem, we have an infinite amount of chocolate squares, an infinite amount of marshmallows, but a finite amount of graham crackers. So the relationship between the amount of graham crackers we need and the amount of s'mores we can make is what we're interested in. First step in solving the problem is writing a ratio. For every one s'more, we require two graham crackers. So this is our mole ratio, in this case, that we're going to use to solve our problem. Calculate the amount of product that's possible to produce using our given reactant amount. We're going to set up a dimensional analysis problem. So we're given 576 graham crackers. And we're going to use our ratio to cancel out our units. So graham crackers have to go on the bottom. We're using this ratio right here with s'mores on the top because we want to be left in these units. Now we can cancel out the graham cracker units we would do 576 divided by two to figure out how many s'mores we can make. And that's 288 s'mores. This isn't all cookbook chemistry to a chemist. Scientists use the term stoichiometry to describe calculations of reactants or products and chemical reactions. They can predict the amount of a product that will be produced in a reaction. They can also predict how much of a reactant they need in order to get a certain amount of product.